From PPG Paints Arena, I'm Dan Kingerski for Pittsburgh Hockey Now and Pittsburgh Sports Now. It was a textbook win for the Pittsburgh Penguins Sunday afternoon, and I say textbook because so many things were elegantly efficient for the Penguins, especially in the first period. They really could have led three, four, nothing after the first 20 minutes. Let's get right to the three takeaways, in fact. The same breakouts you saw on Saturday afternoon were the breakouts they used in the first period. Three men strong, quick touch passes, very close puck support at full speed. The Carolina defense likes to charge. They, they like to disrupt the opponent's breakout. They couldn't do that after a couple seconds on Sunday afternoon. The Penguins, those little touch passes right past them. They gained speed. They gained access into the Carolina zone. Those little breakout passes were perfectly timed and, and really put Carolina on their heels which in turn put the Penguins on their toes. Takeaway number two, the Penguins fourth line was also wonderfully efficient on Sunday. Adam Johnson has not really used his superior speed to full advantage and effect. He did Sunday afternoon in the first period. He outraced everyone to that puck on the end wall to set up Garrett Wilson's goal. In fact, I'm not entirely sure that Adam Johnson didn't get that goal. Wilson may have knocked the puck over across the line after, after it crossed the line. Regardless, Adam Johnson got his uh, first two NHL points in the first period because he did set up that first goal. And later in the first period, in fact, in the final 90 seconds, a full stride back check. Johnson uh, gets back in the, into the defensive zone, which enabled him to set up Matt Cullen for that two-on-one with Ole Mata. And speaking of Ole Mata, takeaway number three, the Penguins defense was just fantastic on Sunday afternoon. We talk about textbook. They built a perimeter around Matt Murray and Carolina really didn't have a lot of great chances, not until the third period. Anyway, uh, Carolina is the league leader in shots taken and uh, among the leaders in shots allowed. Well, the Penguins shut down Carolina on Sunday. In fact, uh, in the first Call it uh, 50 minutes. Carolina didn't even have 30 shots, which in itself would be a small victory. But the fact that the Penguins converted on their chances and put Carolina behind the eight ball, uh, in reality, what Sunday was, was the men against the boys and the Penguins defense with Jack Johnson and Eric Branson certainly qualify as, as, as the men. Uh, Oli Mata and Brian Dumoulin also have formed a really surprising top pairing. Dumoulin on the right side has been slick. He's been slippery on the top of the zone. His puck movement really coming into full force uh, as he's filling in for Chris Letang on the right side there of that top pairing. He and Mata have shown a, a very easy and a nice chemistry, which has allowed that uh, blue line to activate in the play, to force the offense just a, a little bit, which has been much to the benefit of the Penguins. The Penguins had only scored 14 goals in their previous seven games. They could have scored a lot more on Sunday, but uh, they'll be happy with three. Their magic number down to just two points heading to the final three games, a couple with Detroit and one with the Rangers. One win in those three games really shouldn't be much of an issue. From PPG Paints Arena, I'm Dan Kingerski for Pittsburgh Hockey Now and Pittsburgh Sports Live.